muggles, how's it going? It's Sophie, I am back with another video. I saw my intro, I messed it up. I can't do it like this. What's up muggles, how's it going? It's Sophia, I am back with another video. All right, so. What is this video gonna be, eh? Because I don't know. All right, so this bedroom behind me is, is a big deal to me. I have milked this room as much as I possibly can, like a cow. Basically, to cut it short, my room has been through a lot, um, a lot of stages, a lot of progressions. It is a very talked about thing on my channel, and even now on TikTok, a lot of people don't know my YouTube side of things and know me from TikTok, and they see the bedroom in the background, and they're like, how old is this person? Why did her mum let her do that to her room? No one in 2020 has a Harry Potter room anymore, so if you grow up! But no, I did a video a while back of where I showed what my room was like before it was Harry Potter, and I thought it'd be fun to do a dedicated video and show the progression of my room throughout the years because I've got a lot of unseen photos and videos which I want to show you guys and share with you. Hi right, guys, um, hope you enjoyed that and more videos coming soon. Peace out. And let's be honest, I haven't really grown up. So I thought it'd be fun to talk to you guys about you see that transition? This is like I'm giving a house tour. This is currently what the room looks like now. And it has taken many years to look this beautiful. And let's be honest, in a year's time, it could be completely different. So I don't fully know how I'm going to do this video. I'm sort of just winging it. Like, buck beak. That doesn't make sense, but it kind of makes sense. So I'm going to keep it in the video. So, I don't think you'll ever guess what these walls used to be before they were white, before they were red. The first ever colour that hit these walls. I actually have been in this household since the day I was born. So I have grown up here for 23 years and the first colour that these walls were, were yellow. And no, I wasn't born a Hufflepuff, thank you very much. Yellow just seems a very bright colour. But I was a very bright kid, very intelligent. No. So this is the first picture. Me and my brother shared this room. We had bunk beds. At this point in my life, my number one love would have been football. As you can see in the background, my medals and my trophies. Me and my brother love playing football. We used to go in the garden. I used to be the goalkeeper. He used to train me. As we were sharing it, it's a very simple bedroom, yellow walls, and football themed. Once the brother left the room, Justin Bieber <laughs> entered my life. My first love before Snape. That hair flip was better than Snape's at that point. So at this point I thought enough of the yellow, I'm gonna paint my walls white and cover my room in Justin Bieber pictures because I was obsessed with Justin Bieber. I remember the day I discovered Justin Bieber, it was in 2009, I was in school and I saw this boy on a computer screen and I remember seeing it and I remember I had to remember the name Justin Bieber for six hours until I got home so I could type it into YouTube. And like I said, um, I was a very obsessive person so I didn't just want to love Justin Bieber and have one poster. I wanted to love Justin Bieber and I wanted everyone to know that I love Justin Bieber so I filled up the whole room with Justin Bieber posters. I don't know why, I, when I have a love I want to show it off as much as I can. I want to get t-shirts, I want to get tattoos, I want, I want people to know. So you can see in the background of this picture I was a very messy, you can see in the background, there's me with my Never Say Never DVD that I went to the shop at midnight to get. My postcard collection of Justin Bieber, my bed used to face like over here and used to go that way. On the end of the bed was a massive TV, so obviously you don't have like flat screens in those days, or we probably did, I don't know, but I obviously didn't have one, and the TV came like this at the back it was like and I used to play Call of Duty there and I remember like my first videos was when I filmed Call of Duty videos and I got loads of books stacked them all on top of each other put the camera on top and filmed the TV screen and it had loads of lines going down it so this is another shot of my bedroom just take in what you want from there so I even stuck a Justin Bieber poster up on my roof so it was the last thing I saw at night which isn't that funny because I'll probably do the same with a snake poster. But yeah, I was a massive Justin Bieber fan. I eventually took down a few of my Justin Bieber posters and had some other stuff around it. Here's me playing the Connect Adventures game, which is like the one above an eye toy. I did have an eye toy on my PS2, which I played the Harry Potter game where you had to clean the windows of the Hogwarts Express, if any of you guys remember that. But here's me playing Connect. As you can see in the background, we've got a Nev the Bear poster. I was obsessed with Nev the Bear. Any British people know Nev the Bear? 
I still have a toy of him somewhere. Where is Ned? This guy right here. And aliens and stuff like that. And at this point, I then took down all my Justin Bieber posters. And this is like the weirdest picture because my room is empty and just plain white. I then did the stupidest decision ever and decided I want to paint my room red. No, I wasn't a Gryffindor. My mum told me not to paint it red because if I wanted to change my mind, it would be very hard to paint over because it's a very dark colour. But I wanted to make it red. So this is a stage of where I started to post videos on the bakey. You'll see my first video on this channel of where I had just a plain red wall and one picture was up on that wall. And it was a Justin Bieber picture because I had a hook in the wall there. So around this time I had my red walls and I had just simple things like I think I had an Eminem poster, a Harry Potter poster and a Doctor Who poster. Just my general love. Still not absolutely obsessed with Harry Potter and around this time I posted my first Harry Potter video which was a Harry Potter haul in which I started to become obsessed with Harry Potter. Through that, it was one of my most viewed videos and I decided I wanted to be a Harry Potter YouTuber and I wanted to go completely obsessed with Harry Potter. I started to add more things into my room. I got loads of cheap posters. I remember buying stacks of 20 posters for a pound and just made sure that every single bit of the room was covered up with Harry Potter posters. Also, I didn't really like the red walls so I made sure they were covered up because I was such a proud sliver and I was trying to hide the red walls. This was before I bought any like noble collection products and had like these over there I didn't have like the sword and stuff so it was just posters and shelves the wardrobes over here were plain fun fact about these wardrobes so I started off with the platform nine and three quarters wall but I didn't have the dark mark basically we had platform nine and three quarters and I wanted to get a TARDIS on there and then I thought wait I want this room just to be Harry Potter I don't want anything else there so we painted over the TARDIS and had the dark mark there so around this time my channel was getting bigger because of the Harry Potter room tour which is one of the most loudest videos I've filmed to this day I was crazy in it <laughs> and then I started to buy Harry Potter merch like the Noble Collection stuff and I feel like the layout was very similar to what it is now it was a lot busier but then I decided a lot of these expensive products were not showing up so I decided to take everything down which was a lot of work which is the series which is up on my channel right now if you want to go and watch it it's a series of where I revamped my Harry Potter room it took like three coats to paint over the red and now it is what it is now it's still busy that's what I wanted I still wanted to be busy and yeah that is the story of my bedroom the reason I did this video was because because I was browsing on my Facebook and I saw all these old pictures of my room. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to film it for a long time. I kept putting it off because I didn't know if it was something you guys wanted to see. I need to stop thinking like that because you never know. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give a big thumbs up for me so I know. That helps me out a lot. Hit that subscribe button. I'm trying my hardest to get to 200,000 subscribers. Doing this video has made me realise how much I like. It's just crazy how much has happened in the years. Of I've been in the same spot and been the same person, yet everything on this online thing has changed which is crazy i love you guys so much i hope you enjoyed this video and yeah who knows the next time i'm going to make a video around this bedroom probably soon because i love this i hope you love this bedroom as much as i love it and yeah i love you guys and i'll see you very very soon with another video bye oh you still here i like you you're not a muggle you can watch my latest video by clicking here you can also click subscribe by clicking here. If you go in the description down below, you'll find my social media links and a bit of merchandise from me. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you very soon with another video. Bye! Whoa, she disappeared.